Oh, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Chief Kissel, with all Big Fat L. Back with another in video. Thank you guys for accepting me to the Call of Duty community. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Sorry if my eyes are going all over the place. My monitor is here. My camera's up in China. So, you know what I'm saying? This is uh, a great community we have here. I appreciate you guys. We're going to be using our only event, Revenger, whatever it's called. I think it's the best loadout. And it's free. So if you got PS Plus, make sure you got this uh, pack. I got, I made a video review, so check it out. So I make car pack reviews. I slow down a bit because you know I want to let those videos get the, the thing they need, and then I'll do more because I have a lot of car pack videos for you guys. So you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me know. Do you guys want Pogba review? Uh, let me know so I can do it for you guys. All right, so guys, so apparently everybody, I'm talking about Modern Warfare 2. You know how great the game is. Let's be for real. I'm bored. Out of my mind. All right. I think Modern Warfare 2 is kind of boring. You know what I'm saying? Warzone is basically carrying the game. You know, Modern Warfare 2 is not as good. Uh, what am I about to say? So, anyways, I uh, we're playing in custom matches right now. Because when I play multiplayer and try to do this, I do horribly. I have to think I gotta be try hard. I gotta play like I'm in the Vietnam War. So, you know, we're just playing, you know, simple. I'm just playing mindless while talking, you know. Uh, all right, so we're in the custom match. We're playing a little bit of Modern Warfare 2. You know, I don't want to play an actual multiplayer match because if I do, I'm going to be dying all over the place. It's not going to be satisfying to watch. So I'm just putting some recruit bots, you know what I'm saying, for you guys while we talk. But it's not really about my gameplay, you know what I'm saying? That's for the live stream. You can judge my gameplay on the live stream. But today, guys, we're going to be talking about some Call of Duty news because, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know there's a lot of Call of Duty... Uh, oh, my God. I know there's a lot of Call of Duty YouTubers out there but yeah, subscribe to me, so I gotta do my duty to inform you guys you know, about the Call of Duty franchise right now. So let me tell you about, so everyone's like, DLC, DLC, premium release. What is this nonsense? Chief, what are you talking about? So let me tell you guys what's going on in the Call of Duty community, all right? So we all know that right now, Call of Duty is boring as hell. They're not dropping as much content as they need to, because let's be for real, dropping two multiplayer maps in a season is absolutely embarrassing when Black Ops had hella maps. But I'll, I'll let them slide this season because obviously it's Warzone moody season. So they want people to play the Warzone. And yes, I just threw that back at myself. But we got it. But so apparently, you know, in 2023, they're going to add some $70 DLC. All right. $70 USD DLC. So basically, it's gonna come from what I hear on this website. It's gonna come with a lot of content, all right. And it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be developed by Sledgehammer. You know what I'm saying? We all know who well, Sledgehammer made Vanguard. Oh, how did I die, bro? I did not see that guy behind me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm kind of embarrassed. But what we know is that this DLC, now I heard a lot of things about this DLC. I heard that they're going to add, um, okay, it shows that right here. It will have a new campaign, which, okay. And more multiplayer content. Hmm. Okay. The, and I heard some things. I heard that they're going to put original maps. I heard they're going to put OG maps. You know, from the original Modern Warfare 2, like Terminal, all that nonsense, you know what I'm saying? So, chat, what do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a good idea? Do you guys think that they should, um, you know, make this DLC? Now, here's my thing. Oh, my God, I just died again, bro. Cause, bro, I'm trying to do... Uh, bro, I'm trying to do a car video, bro. I'm out here dying. But anyways, bro, I, know, I need to be like, Nadia, I'm about to tell anybody, you know what I'm saying? But look, the thing is, is that, personally, I don't mind this DLC, actually. Now, the thing is that I am not a fan of season passes. I despise season passes. Oh, my God. I didn't see him until... But I despise season passes. I do not like season passes. I think season passes are the cancer of gaming. That's what made everybody go to Fortnite. Because telling people that you need to pay 
like a hundred something for a full experience is not good you know what i'm saying so thank god we're out of the days of season passes i'm glad that this is not really a season pass because we're gonna get a year of free content now the only thing that could mess up this dlc what would make it frustrating is if the content in Modern Warfare 2 is not that good and they're making us wait and wait and wait and stall for the next one. Now, I feel like right now, like I said, only two multiplayer maps on season one is kind of pathetic. And a multiplayer in season one is low-key kind of trash right now. It's not that good. Let's not cap here, dog. Warzone is what's carrying the game right now. Multiplayer is dry right now. I mean, sure, they brought back hardcore, but hardcore, you can do so much with hardcore until you're bored, right? And so, basically, we out here playing Warzone or bored out of our minds, right? So, basically, you know, I think that the next season of Modern Warfare 2 might be good. It might have more maps. It might have more content. If not, you know, if the game, like, if the game is just lacking in content through the whole entire year and then they're like yeah we're dropping like 30 maps 70 dollar dlc i'm gonna be hella mad because think about it for a second like you can't tell us to buy your game 70 dollars for a price put a little bit of nonsense and then make us pay for dlc for actual content that we need in this game all right now i know they're trying to make money out here let's not cap but you can make your money and do that so like so like here's the thing if you want to put og maps and make us pay for it that's absolutely fine. I do not mind as long as you add new good maps in this game. Now, you can see that, like, this map is pretty good. Like, I like maps like these that are outside of the box, like Hotel. I like this, you know what I'm saying? I like the race car map. We need more maps like these where they're in, like, weird, like, places that are not really, like, in a war zone, but, like, fit the multiplayer narrative really good. But I don't want to see maps like this and this. And this, we don't need maps like these. We need good maps, you know what I'm saying? And to make the game good, all you got to do is do a little bit of patch, fix the UI. And if you can do that, this will be one of the best Call of Duty of all time. But right now, for me, I feel like I had more fun with Cold War just because of the maps. That's it. That's what's all. Bro, the guns are good. The You know what I'm saying? I could pass everything if they could just make some good more maps. Like, good maps, bro like just good maps like i don't need two good maps i need like hella good maps so so i'm not bored all right if you guys love these call of duty videos so please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel you know how it is bro don't be a goonie hit that subscribe button i'm gonna make more call of duty videos i don't just make call of duty videos but those are the most popular on the channel i'll be making some god of war sonic videos you know for yag homies but anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Damn, is that really my outro, bro? Yeah, you know.